Hi, my name is Dash and I'm platform evangelist here at StreamSense. Today I'm going to show you the integration between SQL Server Big Data Cluster and StreamSense DataOps platform. SQL Server Big Data Cluster provides a great way to interact with and manage big data for machine learning and other analysis tasks. It allows you to deploy scalable clusters of SQL Server, Apache Kafka, and Hadoop, and it is deployed as a set of containers managed by Kubernetes. This makes it really easy to deploy it on StreamSets DataOps platform. StreamSets enables continuous data design operations and governance in streaming or batch mode. It helps data team members to leverage pre-built origins, destinations, and transformations to build smart data pipelines that can be scaled, automated, and scheduled from within the data ops platform. At a higher level, the example use case we're going to look at is to ingest tweets from Twitter, run sentiment analysis on them, and store them in SQL Server in a format such that they can be queried and analyzed. Let's look at our first job. At a higher level, the example use case we're going to look at is to ingest tweets from Twitter, run sentiment analysis on them, and store them in SQL Server such that we can query them. Let's look at our first pipeline. In this pipeline, we're ingesting tweets from Twitter, performing transformations on them, and finally writing them to Kafka. Some of the transformations include discarding deleted and duplicate tweets, pivoting array of tweets returned by Twitter's API into individual tweet records, flattening nested tweet structure, and finally filtering and renaming them. Before we look at the second pipeline, let's get the data flowing from Twitter to Kafka. And take a couple of seconds for data to start flowing. Okay, great. So now we have some transformed tweets ready to be consumed from Kafka. Now let's look at our second pipeline. In this pipeline, we're reading tweet messages from the same Kafka topic that was being written to in the first pipeline. And some of the transformations in here include preparing tweet records into JSON documents as required by the machine learning API. The machine learning API analyzes each tweet and assigns a score to it. Scores close to one indicate positive sentiment, and scores close to zero indicate negative sentiment. And each tweet record along with sentiment analysis score is stored in SQL Server for querying and further analysis. Let's start ingesting tweets from Kafka into SQL Server. Again, it'll take a couple of minutes for the data to start flowing in. There we go. Now let's switch over to Azure Data Studio where we can start querying the, uh, the tweets. Once the tweets, along with their sentiment analysis scores are stored in SQL Server, we can easily query them in Azure Data Studio. For instance, we can run a query to create buckets based on scoring range. Let's go ahead and run this query. Now this can be easily visualized just by clicking on this button. Now before I sign off, I'd like to highlight a couple of more things. Topologies make it easy to measure and monitor data flows across jobs as well as set data SLAs. Here's one that I've created for the two jobs that we ran earlier. In here, you can drill down to see jobs details, including record metrics, and the pipeline associated with individual jobs. And finally, everything you've seen thus far can be automated using scheduler and REST APIs.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.